Hello. Okay, so I told you I was making the other portion of the salmon another way, and I just wanted to share this with you. I, it's so pretty. Okay, so um, let me just show it to you. It has not been cooked yet, so um, I think the difficulty of this one is going to be flipping it over. I've stuffed the salmon. I've um, butterflied it. And I've stuffed it with a, um, I, I just cooked up some spinach and the way I normally make spinach, which is like, you know, you add a little garlic and a little salt and pepper, keep it very simple, uh, fresh spinach and you take it off and then you add a little lemon juice. And then I mixed in a little cream cheese and some crawfish like that I peeled. Not, you don't need too much of anything. And then I added a little Tony Saturays. And the other thing that's in there is a few blanched asparagus and then some seared wild mushrooms. Ah, okay, the salmon itself, like I said, I just butterflied it. Salt, pepper, and paprika. And a little olive oil. So, this looks really good. <laughs> um, the fun part, like I said, is when I sear it in the pan, all I'm gonna do is turn on my heat on my pan, add a little olive oil, and I'm going to carefully try to flip it after a few minutes and just tell it it's like a nice, beautiful color on each side. So, voila. <laughs> oh, yum. Those mushrooms are so good. Great little snack. Beautiful mushrooms. These right here, the lion's mane, I was reading up about them. They are so good for you. Oh, lion's mane mushrooms. In fact, they're so good that I looked it up and I bought some of the, the powder. You can buy powdered lion's mane and I'm ordering it. It's real good for memory. Mm. I found those at the farmer's market. Oh my God, they're so good. I might have to make a trip to the farmer's market once a week and hopefully that mushroom girl will, will be there. These are the gray ones. Mmm, delicious. I'm not even a mushroom person, that's what's funny. But doing like this, which was very simple, butter, olive oil, you sear them for a couple minutes on each side and then you add a little salt, pepper, and a little soy sauce. I added some chives, um, onions for my garden. Mm. Yummy. Okay. So the fish is, salmon's ready. I'm thinking maybe I should wait and cook it in a little while when I plan to eat it. Yeah. All right, so pictures later. 